And after nearly two years of shutdowns, capacity limits, supply chain issues, the list goes on and on. Restaurants, no surprise, still struggling. Thousands of owners now asking Congress to replenish the restaurant's revitalization fund. Our Sean Stryker has more on who you can help by simply making a phone call. The best crab cake in the world. Located in the Lexington market, Fadley Seafood has been serving Baltimore for 135 years. It's been really tough. And for the first time since she's been at the helm, fourth generation owner Damie Hahn is worried about what the future holds. The whole pandemic has been just an up and down uh, for the business and for the city and for uh, you know our staff and our workers. For two years, they've pushed through shutdowns, capacity limits, and skyrocketing food costs. And it makes it very difficult for us to gauge how to uh, look at our future, um, how to invest in the future, and, and where to go from here. They applied for help through the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, which was created to help qualifying businesses impacted by COVID-19. They didn't receive any money. It's the same story up the street at the local Oyster. A handful of restaurants got millions of dollars, and a lot of restaurants didn't get anything. In total, 177,000 restaurants did not receive assistance. Today is a national day of action to save American restaurants. Now, through the Independent Restaurant Coalition, restaurants across the country are calling on Congress to replenish the fund. Without some assistance to get through this, these supply chain issues, and these, uh, the, the issues of not having enough customers, a lot of us will go out. So what can you do? Call your congressman and tell them to replenish the restaurant revitalization fund so that places like this will survive. Sean Stryker for WJZ.